Okay, I reset it. It should work this time. And not disconnect me. Hello there. Hello there, Zero X529. Oh my god, what the hell is up with Master Duel? Are the servers down? Or am I the only one having problems with the servers? Is there a reason why you weren't using Temple of the Mind's Eye anymore? Because I didn't really need it. I want to play it, but it wasn't really, uh... It wasn't helping enough. I'm not sure how matchmaking works, but I'm trying to start my start of matches with Mr. Logs. <gasps> no, don't stream snipe me. The servers have been weird recently. Do I have to restart it again? I was having games fine earlier, it's just recently, ever since it hit like 10 o'clock. Have you always been doing the pre-stream on YouTube or is this new? Um, I try to do it every week, but it's kind of exhausting. So instead I only do it like, I only stream on YouTube four days a week. On Thursday I don't do it. Wow, I have bits to take. Thank you, VR Doggo 122 Also, thanks for the sub to WSDFV. Let's see if it works this time. Wait, why do I switch to plural nouns? I said let's instead of let me. Let me see if it works. Is Twitch better than YouTube? It is certain. Ooh. Don't ask the 8-ball cursed questions, Tamer Plague. I noticed the VTuber tag. Are you embracing what you keep denying? No, I'm not a VTuber. Also, one of you people added me to the VTuber wiki. I saw that because you messaged me about it. <laughs> I'm not sure why, considering the fact that I'm not even a VTuber. Fuck all you guys! Fuck you all! I hope I fucking go to hell! Their minds might need to add you to wiki feet? Oh my god, is there a wiki feet? What the hell? Hello there, Mr. Dulogs. Hello there, Hung GF. What are they going to add to their hand? Sky Strikers? Oh, if I use present card, that's going to benefit them. And also, there can be only one doesn't really stop them either. Oh, no. Or does it? Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Logs. Hello there. Hey, thanks for the resubscribe, Reaper. Well, tobacco is dead. Where's Chibi Logs? Uh, he's under maintenance right now. Link to the VTuber page. No. Oh, you know, I found on um, on TV Tropes, like, sometimes they'll refer to my videos and some of the, the TV Tropes things, but since I don't have a TV Tropes page, like, they link my name, but it doesn't go anywhere. And I found that pretty funny. That someone would take some of the stuff I said in my top tens and add them to TV Tropes, but not create a backlink for it. Hi, uh, hello there. Hello, Mr. Logs. Hello there, Sentio. The extra deck monsters are warriors, right? So they can't go into them? I mean, he would have Ash if he didn't negate the presence. Come on, guys. Thanks for the sub, Warrior4356. 
How'd the restart go? Uh, I think it worked after I restarted it twice. The extra decks are machines? Mmm. So they can go into the extra deck. But... They can't go into any of the other extra deck cards. Uh, what card makes it so you only take a thousand damage per attack and it's the field spell? That's called Temples of the Mind's Eye. Have you ever considered trying Legends of Terror on stream? I know you did a card review. Yeah, I was planning on doing either that or Shadowverse on Friday. Unless I'm doing something on Friday. Is there something special on Friday? No, Friday is good. All right, thanks for the, the bits, VR Doggo 122 and also Boss Patrol 1. Hopefully you don't disconnect again, big man. <laughs> yeah. Wait, normal summon Ash Blossom and Joy Spring? Why? They can't go into uh, Alky Fibrax, it's a machine. Rune Terra, please. Rune Terra is fun, but it's super basic. Shadowverse is fun. Maybe I should just play Magic on Friday every day. Because I play Magic every day anyway. Soul Absorbing Bone Tower Mill? I already have that one perfected. Like, I have that one perfected, so it's it's boring to me now. Dagda, isn't that a machine too? Oh, it's a fairy. You can set an artifact card. And then they can use Sky Striker Mecha. Oh, well, it's super generous in terms of giving cards for playing compared to MTG or Master Duel. I've, I've low-key spent maybe three hundred dollars into master into uh into mtg arena already so i can build my decks dagda did they set something good maybe they're afraid of there can be only one when uh, an effect of another card in the field is activated quick effect set a artifact card neat I'm going to give him a kaiju so they can't do that. <laughs> Souls or in Bone Tower Mill is the Synchro Festival. Yeah, it works in the Synchro Festival. I'm already done with the Synchro Festival, though. I've done so much Synchro Festival that I'm tired of it. <gasps> Inspector Border? Eh, it's kind of useless now. I'm low on life points, so I can use Humid Winds. Okay, then I can gain 500 life points this turn. And I could set Inspector Border, but she's gonna get destroyed by the Kaiju, so I'm not gonna do that. Oh, we destroyed Artifact Scythe. Imagine finishing the Synchro Festival. Hey, it's Leia, Azimoth. Did you not do the Synchro? Oh, right, I remember you said on stream that you tried and people were just playing True Dracos or something. Or is that someone else? I don't remember. <laughs> Guys, you should subscribe to, to Leah Azimoth's... No, not subscribe. What do you do on, on YouTube, on Twitch? It's it's follow. You guys should uh, follow this person in chat. Because they're going to do a special stream at 1,000 followers and they're very close. I want to see it. Notice me, big. No, I'm not gonna read that. I read most of it. It was painful. I started the event too late. I mean, I, I did the event a couple days ago and it was fine. There's the Halk. Wait, they're going into Halk? <gasps> Can they do their combos without... Wait, let me use Human Winds real quick. I was noticed by Senpai. No, you weren't. Use the effect now. Yeah, I'm gonna add the aroma jar for my deck to the hand. Because I can stall it with that one since he can't be destroyed by battle. And then I gain 500 life points every turn. I can also just gain another 500 life points with human wins. What is he gonna do with Halki Fibrax? He literally can't go into Access Code Talker without bringing out another machine. Or if it goes into Effect Veiler, they literally can't go into Selene while Effect Veiler is on the field. And they also can't bring the other one back! 
They have to hard go into Axis. Oh, they can just go into Axis Code Talker with you. What 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 type is Axis Code Talker? It's Warrior, right? No, it's Cybers. Ah. Freaking heck. Link Karibo. They locked themselves out of Axis Code Talker? What? <laughs> you you made a mistake there. Good morning, I can't believe I woke up and you're here. Hello there, Daluk. Um What do they I mean yeah, I guess they could use that card in order to get rid of one of their cards. Oh no, so many true Dracos. Hello, Mr. Duologs. Would it be okay to ask a question? How many times per stream do you have people say things like Hello, Duologs from the D YouTube channel, the Duologs, and the Duologs, Duologs, and the Dual Vlogs? It must be absolutely terrible if these buffoons would ha say such preposterous things. Ah, they're just having fun. Cauldron of the Old Man. <gasps> Gained 500 life points for each account. Why didn't you guys tell me this is how Culture of the Old Man worked? I blame you. He's going to activate his effect. Uh, should I use Spooky Dogwood to gain life points? No, I don't think they're going to go and do anything important. On some level, this is your guys' fault. I currently have 27k coins. And I'm only playing True Draco in the Synchro event. Ooh, TG Wonder Magician. That lets them get rid of um, the Floodgate. Unless they get rid of Cauldron of the Old Man. Cauldron is a top 10 card. In Wait, they're going to destroy their own card? What? What? They're going to Synchro Summon into a level 10? Are they going to go into Baron? If they're going to go into Baron, I should probably do this. Is it a misplay? Yes. Let's see. If they go into Baron, Baron gives them a targeted destruction. I think it works on any card in the field, right? Baron de Fleur, a warrior. They destroyed their own card for no reason. Okay, whatever. Pay a thousand life points. Add another aroma monster from your deck to your hand. Scratch Dragons will do this because their spell and trap cards come back and they get advantage off of it. They're probably thinking about getting rid of your floodgate. I don't know why they're not getting rid of the floodgate. That doesn't make any sense. Cauldron, the number one life point stack in the game. No questions, annoying, but also burns. Yeah, I guess I could use it to burn too, huh? I didn't think of that. Um. Wait, what are they doing? When a card or effect is. Wait, this can negate effects too? They're gonna waste it on this? Everything he does confuses me. And Omni Negate, not Omni. No, nah, a lot of Omni Negates don't work on cards that are already face up on the field, surprisingly enough. Well, he wasted his Omni Negate. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Probably pressing buttons. Yeah, summon to your side of the field. Summon to my opponent. This is the second one I've used. I'm almost out of cards. I'm going to run out of cards before my opponent. Okay, and then I'll activate Backup Squad. Maybe he can out. He can't out it now. His Baron's gone. He wasted his negate for no reason. Also, all of his plays are just kind of out there. If I lose this game, that means I'm, I'm, I'm not a pro gamer anymore. So I gotta hope I don't lose. Add Necroface. I should add Necroface, huh? Necroface and um 
What should we call it? No, wait. Necroface returns my opponent's cards too, doesn't it? Part of my strategy is to build my opponent by banishing their cards. I mean, Necroface also accomplishes that, but... Soul Absorption for banished cards? I don't banish enough for that. He's in plat, by the way? Yeah, we're in plat. <laughs> this is plat level gameplay. Um, okay, so I guess his response is, uh, I have no idea. What is, what is he going to activate in response to Cauldron of the Old Man during my turn? Maxi? Okay. Yeah. If I lose this duel, I'm going to turn off the stream. Gain 500 life points for each counter on this card. Maybe I should just start burning my opponent. I'll flip over Aroma Jar. Ooh, I can set this card. Just burn him? No. This is a life point gain mill deck. You don't burn in a life point gain mill deck. Plus, I have a Kaiju with 3,300 attack. And look, I gain 500 extra life points during each end phase. It's not just my end phase, it's both. 82% of people voted you'll lose, did they? Ooh, did you guys actually turn on, um... On, uh, predictions for this one? What, you got gimmicky banished mill to plant? Oh, I get plat all the time by just mistake. I don't try to hit plat, it's just I hit it anyway. <gasps> oh no. He stole my Thunder King, the Lightning Strike Kaiju for one turn. And he attacked my monster, which can't be destroyed by battle. And he allowed me to draw two cards off of it, and I'm just going to get it back. Unless he can get it off the board with a, uh, with a Link Summon. Oh wait, someone redeemed a uh, VIP, didn't they? What was it? It was um Mall Rat Dogma. Okay. There you go. Wait, what? A jet synchron? <laughs> what? Why does he keep going into Link Karibo? Why is he obsessed with Link Karibo? <laughs> Give me my kaiju back. He's a button clicker? I guess. Let's see, Maxi is insect type. Okay, maybe I will inflict damage to my opponent. Because I'm going to win this turn. Inflict 300 damage, 1200, and then we bring out Candina, and then attack. This should be enough. I'll bait out with Aroma Jar, and then I'll just attack with Thunder King to Lightning Strike Kaiju. Clicking buttons is fun. I mean, once you're in Platinum, though, you don't really just run into button clickers anymore. Cauldron is a god card. Yeah, Cauldron's pretty good. You know, I have this mindset that I take where when someone types out something in chat, you know, like a really long message where I think they're 100% wrong, I do like a mental check in my head where I, uh, I think, what if I'm actually wrong about this? Just entertain the idea. And so I look at it from a different perspective. You know, that way I don't get into arguments with chat over stupid shit. I just think, let me approach this from the angle that I might be wrong. And I'm glad I do that because I was totally wrong about Cauldron of the Old Man. I was like, okay, so I had to stop myself and be like, uh, Cauldron of the Old Man doesn't work that way, you stupid idiot. It works this way. 
It's like, no, no, what if I'm, I'm misremembering the card? So I've written Reddit, and they were telling me if the effect stacks infinitely, you don't remove them. And I was like, oh, okay, this is much better than I thought. Thank you, person who, who went in chat and typed that out. Rigged match? That was 100% skill, baby. What about these cards? Uh, Chainsaw Insect, Defender, Kuraz, Light Monarch. Ooh, I love Kuraz. Needleworm, Hummingbird, Nimble Momonga, uh, The Bistro Butcher, Voltic Kong, Warm Worm, Book of Eclipse, One Day of Peace, Poisoning Old Man, Spell Absorption, Dark Bribe, Draining Shield, Side Effects, Solemn Wishes, and or Spell Absorbing Life. So, Chainsaw Insect is too vulnerable. Uh, Defender, too vulnerable. Kiraz, Kiraz, uh, I don't really have tribute fodder for Kiraz. Needleworm is too slow. Hummingbird is not good enough. A lot of people end their cards and their hands with less than like one card in their hand. Uh, Nimble Momonga is too slow. The Butcher, not strong enough. Voltic Kong requires too much setup. Warm Worm doesn't mill enough. Book of Eclipse is good. That could work. One Day of Peace could also work. Poison Old Man, I already got it. Yeah, unless you mean Cauldron of the Old Man, I got that. Poison Old Man, not enough life point gain. Spell Absorption, not enough. Not a lot of people actually use uh, spell cards. Um, Dark Bribe is good. I should play that. Draining Shield is too slow. Side Effects, I used to use it, but I removed it. Solemn Wishes is too slow. And uh, Spell Absorbing Life. What's that? Absorbing Life. Flip all, no, this is too slow. It's, I mean, not too slow. It's not good enough. Hmm, Legacy of the Duelist. Yeah, so you see, I've been deck testing this deck for a very long time, so I, I know how all of those cards work. <laughs> Monster Reborn? Monster Reborn? I don't really need Monster Reborn, though. The heal for each banished card? Uh, I don't really banish a lot. What about Morphing Jar? Morphing Jar is good. It's also really slow. Here's the problem with Flip Effect monsters. They are so fragile. They die to, like, someone breathing on them. If you breathe on a Flip Effect monster, they're gone. The way I'm trying to mill with this deck is through... giving my opponent Pot of Desires. <laughs> Necroface could work, but I'm also playing like, you know, Pot of Desires. Ladybug is a big mistake. I like Ladybug though, but you're right, I don't really need Ladybug if I'm playing Cauldron of the Old Man. I can remove it. Um, I could try the Pot cards, they're not half bad, like if I'm playing... Aroma Jar. I could probably afford to play some of the other pot cards as well. Uh, no, not that one. Um, Jar... Is it Jar? Morphine Jar? That's the wrong kind of Jar. Morphine Jar. Because as we all know, Morphine Jar is broke. Morphine Jar. Discard your whole hand and then draw five cards. Morphine Jar number two, Rivalry of the Warlords. Rivalry of the Warlords. Each player can only control one type of monster. Card Destruction. Ooh, Card Destruction is more mill. I forgot about that. Card Destruction. Okay, so this version is different from what I'm doing. Like this one, I can't run all these engines together. I have to remove something. Go with Mana Dragon fam, trust me. Mana Dragon? Well, if I play the Morphing Jar and stuff, I might be able to run Mana Dragon. And then we also have Dark Bribe in order to protect my back row. But now you see I have too many cards. Either three or zero dimension shifter? No. I only have one. Waking the dragon for free ultimate dragon? Oh, that's too much. What's the difference between goes and match and rivalry again? I think attributes and types. 
Uh, they're pretty good. There can be only one is usually better, but I've been going against a lot of decks where it's not. So... I have too many cards in this deck. What I really like about this deck are the Kaijus, but there's too many. So if I'm going to make this... here, let me change the name of this. So we have a Life Point Gain Ladybug. We're no longer doing Life Point Gain Ladybug. We're doing Life Point Gain Mill Flip. So if we're going for a flip engine, I don't really need the Kaijus. So I'm going to remove them because the Kaijus take up a lot of space. Okay, I don't have Rival with the Warlords. I don't really want to make it. Lose one turn. I can play Flip Monsters with lose one turn. I can also play them with there can be only one. And summon limit. The Cauldron of the Old Man is my main way to gain life points. I should probably get rid of the gimmick of Graceful Tear giving my opponent a Pot of Desires. But I think it's really funny when it actually works. So is side effects when that actually works too. <laughs> gift of Greed for a three card mill? No, Gift of Greed is garbage. Add Jar of Avarice plus Ferris Treasure. It's a two card infinite mill. Plus Ferris Treasure? No. Ooh, maybe I should add in Heavy Slump. So when I give them so many cards, they have to get rid of all of the cards in their hand. Fossil Dynia? Oh, that's a good one. Fossil... Yeah, since I'm playing Flip Monsters. If I'm playing Flip Monsters, I probably don't need Hand Trap Protection, or Inspector Border, or Candina, or... I'll keep Mana Dragon. Give them Reasoning? Oh, what if it doesn't mill enough? But that's also... I'd have to play Reasoning, too. Yu Joe Friendship. Necro Valley is a good floodgate that works with this deck. Necro Valley. Yeah, I don't use the graveyard, do I? There, my one copy of Necro Valley. Necro Valley and Royal Tribute? No. Uh, if you want, you can play Cross Out Call by the Grave. Morphing Jar can be negated by Ash Blossom. Hmm. I guess it could. That is um, one thing I guess I'm willing to take. A couple of faces just to miss your coin toss so they can draw. I don't really need to give them that much draw power. No Marshmallow on. Here, I'll get rid of lose one turn. I have Dark Bribe. At this point, why am I gaining life points with this deck? Oh, for Backup Squad, of course. Backup Squad to draw me a whole bunch of cards to come back. A and D changer to change their battle position. Add Jelly Cannon for the memes. <laughs> jelly Cannon. I'm gonna see how this how this works just a as it is. Doom Dozer for your two maxis. Okay, no. You guys are crazy. Book of Moon? No. Let's see how Book of Moon... Let's see how this flip version works. Temples of the Mind Eye to prevent high damage. Uh, I don't really care enough about preventing high damage to run that card. Let's go pure meal. It's funnier. No, this version is already pretty funny. You guys just don't understand. It's gambling time. Will the Duel Logs win the next match? Of course! I have a dare for you when you're done flipping stuff. Play Vendred. I'll play Vendred eventually. <gasps> I opened the Wombo combo! And they're playing a 40 card deck like a normal person! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna play Patchy Cephalo in attack position. He can't special summon cards while it's on the field. Then. I'm going to play Graceful Tear in order to give them Pot of Desires so that they'll mill their own cards. Where's Marshmallow? I have Aroma Jar. This is my life point gain version of Marshmallow. 
It's better. What do you think Maxi stands for? Dragon Collar Magician. Once per turn, you can target one visit monster in the field. It becomes dragon type until the end of this turn, even if this card leaves the field. How is that going to help with Pachycephalo? Duelist Alliance. If there's a Pendulum card, add a Pendulum, Pendulum Monster, or Pendulum Spell Trap from your deck to your hand. Oh, okay. This should allow them to actually destroy my card. Let's go, Mr. Logs. I'm betting on you today. Good. You should always bet on me. I'm a professional gamer. Um, this allows them to add one Magician card that can destroy Patchy Cephalo. Which could be bad for me, however, I have Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood in my hand. Which allows me to gain life points every time he special summons a monster. So he can't beat me this turn anyway. Oh, he didn't get it. No, Purple Poison Magician also destroys. I guess that works too. Magician Eyes. Oh, okay. Wisdom Eyes. He can destroy his other one in order to add a copy of it from their deck to their hand, right? But why are they doing that? A professional VTuber. Oh, I don't know if I've ever told you the noob banster, but I'm actually not a VTuber, unfortunately. He normal set a card and ended his turn? What? Ooh, backup squad. Okay, well, I'll activate Backup Squad. <laughs> he can't use that effect. Well, he sure he can. He can't Pendulum Summon. He got walled out. He can't just normal summon a monster. He has purple mag... He could have just crashed into it. What the hell? This is plat, right? Yeah, this is platinum. You're my favorite VTuber? Why, thank you, Baron Boy 528 I'm not a VTuber, though. Hey, it's Millie Yarn Day TV. Is this a bot FTK? Uh, shoot. Uh, oh. Wait, let me respond to this. Don't, don't pendulum summon yet. Let me do something. I don't think it's a bot. I think they're, they're, the machinations of her mind are just an enigma. Damn it. I was holding down the button so that I could... <laughs> God damn it. First, Spooky Dogwood. Second, Graceful Tear. Give them Pot of Desires. Give them this card so they can mill themselves, hopefully. And draw two cards in the process. It's a win-win situation. I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player. I don't know how to read. But there's tons of reading in Yu-Gi-Oh. Sick combo. I know, right? Are you going to lose again? No, he's about to mill himself for 12 cards. This is amazing. You guys just don't get it. It's hilarious. Time Gazer Magician. I gain 2400 life points. Every time he summons a card, I gain life points equal to their attack. Going minus two, so your opponent can minus nine themselves. Exactly. He probably won't use it because he's pendulum summoning. <gasps> he normal summon Skullcrabat Joker. He should use it. Come on, mill your deck by 12 for me. I voted no when watching the advertisements. Why was there ads? Yeah, every time I take damage, I get to draw cards in increments of 1,000. Ooh. Look at all these excellent cards I'm drawing. <gasps> present card. I don't want to use present card until they use the Pot of Desires in their hand. You steal my cauldron, I steal your pot. Okay, so, Patchy Cephalo first. Since it destroys all special summon monsters on the field, Cauldron the Old Man. I'll use this to gain 500 life points. 
And then I'll set the other two cards. Dark Bribe should be able to protect me from Spell Trap removal. Present card is for more meal, but I don't want to use the meal until after he uses Pot of Desires. Usually my opponent's more uh, likely to use the Pot of Desires if I floodgate them a little bit more. The Kaijus might have been better. No. Kaijus are so 2000 late. Add a Dark Spellcaster from your deck to your hand. Hmm, Mr. Logs is ignoring redeems. You guys have to tell me. Here, here's here's my face cam. Let's see, what did he add to his hand? I wasn't paying attention. Double Iris Magician? Oh, that just searches cards. But it does allow him to search out a trap card which can destroy my stuff. If he searches that out, then I'll use present card to get rid of it. Present card, technically, hand disruption. Come on, use Pot of Desires. Please use Pot of Desires. I want you. I'm begging you. Use Pot of Desires. I'm on my knees. Use use Pot of Desires. Go plus, go plus, go plus one. Double Iris Magician. Double Fang Magician. That's not Pot of Desires. Give me Pot of Desires. Why is he so afraid to use Pot of Desires? This isn't a PNG. It's a it's a GIF. Like if I keep it open for long enough, you can see the eyes change colors. Another Time Gazer Magician. Oh, so he's not going to search out the trap card which destroys. Hello, can someone who has Twitch Prime get the code for me? Thanks. Yeah, someone with Twitch Prime. Okay, what's he searching out this time? I have Patchy Cephalo. He can just blow up the whole field except for Skullcrabat Joker. As long as he doesn't go into anything more dangerous than this. Yeah, you tell him, Pomu. He still can't destroy my stuff unless he finds a way to destroy Purple Poison Magician on the field, which allows you to target a face-up card in the field and then destroy it. Which is bad if they destroy my face-up backup squad, but I can just use Mana Dragon to bring it back, I guess. It's not that big a deal. I forgot I had Mana Dragon in my hand. It's Mana Dragon's not half bad. What is a GIF? It's related to, uh... <gasps> Wait, a purple poison magician is destroyed. Oh, he was normal. Oh, yeah, he was normal summoned. I forgot about that. Thanks for the sub, J.E. Lion. He has Astrograph Sorcerer. Wait, he doesn't have any cards in his extra deck, though. No, he does. Wait, why are they all faced? Why does he. Have oh, 13. Okay, well, I get a draw card. Ooh, card destruction. I get to draw two cards for this. Ooh, Pot of Desires. And then one card for Skulkerbat. Thanks for the sub, Epic Nuke99. You still got the VTuber deck? Of course I do. Your opponent is about to end his or her turn. Would you like to end your his or her turn? No. Aroma Jar. Okay. Horizon of the Old Man. I can trade in all of my cards for better cards. Okay, so I can gain a thousand life points now. At this point, your opponent has more cards in their deck than you do. <laughs> it's because they refuse to use Pot of Desires. It's not my fault. Okay, so I'm going to give them a bigger hand because they refuse to use their hand. They're going to have five cards in their hand now. Assuming they let this go through. I don't know why they wouldn't let it go through. This is... Five cards for free. You're welcome. How many Roma Jars do I have left? I have two. I think I have one in my grave, right? Yeah, so I can't actually search with Humid Winds anymore. So there's no reason to really play it. So I'll get rid of it and trade it out with Card Destruction. Hopefully he didn't draw into an Ash Blossom. Mana Dragon works in the grave? Yes, I know. 
Ooh, okay. Another Cauldron of the Old Man and another Dark Bribe. And another backup squad. Um, I think I should leave the other field spell zone open. I have 14 cards. Let's gain another 500 life points. And then I have maximum C in case they go into any other plays. If they destroy my cards, I'm ham boned. Oh, they haven't really gone to any monster effects that destroy. I'm gonna set the other one just in case. What if they drew into like two harpies feather dusters? You know? Time pendulum graph? Yeah, I see this is a concern card. Because it's gonna completely destroy my field if it's allowed to resolve. Thankfully, I have a dark bribe to stop this. Oh, I'm so glad I set the other Dark Bribe. Okay, I'll get rid of that one. And then draw another card. And then it's their turn. There are 13 cards left in their deck. All I have to do is just survive for 13 cards in their deck, and then I win. Two Feather Dusters. Only one can be added, though. I know, but what if they have two of them, though? Cultural works on your standby phase, not your opponent's? I know. I don't believe I said it worked in my opponent's turn. Oh, someone else did. Okay. It's almost like they're relying on your opponent doing something you want them to do is unreliable. It is unreliable, but it's so funny if it works. Like, if my opponent had used Pawn of Desires, they would be milled out by now. Star Pendulum Graph. Uh, that's fine. They can add cards. Heavy Storm and Harpy's Feather Duster. Perform Pass Skull Crabat. As long as they don't go into Monster Destruction, I can wall them out. Activate Max C. Maybe they won't summon any cards this turn. Maybe they'll get scared of my of my maximum C. My graceful tier combo is gonna make my deck crazy. <laughs> it's such a good combo when it works. It's just it doesn't work a lot. Okay, they're at 11 cards now and I'm at 21. Aster, wait, he has another effect? You can banish this card you control plus four monsters from your hand, field, and our graveyard. Each with Pendulum, XCs, Special Summon, one Supreme King, Zark from your X What? <gasps> Zark? He actually did it? I know they could bring out Zark, but I've never actually seen them try. This is the first time I've seen them bring out Zark. I don't even know what Zark does. I just know it like blows up the field if he comes out. Four dragon monsters uh, must be fusion summoned. If this card is special summoned, destroy all cards your opponent controls. Cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can special summon a supreme king dragon monster from your deck. Supreme King Dragon. Oh, he has piercing damage. That's bad for me. This can't be activated this turn. Uh, alright. That's game over. I have a new idea in order to make this mill work. You guys want to see what it is? First, what I'm going to do is remove a couple of cards. Then I'm going to add in Temple. Then I'm going to add in... I'm going to add in some spicy tech. You guys are never going to believe this. Oh, I forgot what it was. Can you guys remind me what I was going to add? Because I forgot. Remove Dimension Shifter? Never. Mm, skill Drain? I forgot I was going to add. You guys don't remember. How can you guys not read my mind and tell me what I was going to add to my own deck? Okay, so the plan was more mill, more floodgates, more draw power. I was going to add in more mill. That's what I was going to add in. Necroface. Hi, Mr. Logs. Hello there, Caboose. Fuck all you guys. Fuck you all. I hope I fucking go to hell. 
Why is that clip so funny? There we go. Sky Striker Vector. Ooh, Sky Striker Vector. Where's that clip from? It's from Pomu. Of Pomu Rainpuff from Niji Sanji Ian. I'm pretty sure it's from her first uh, Crab Game collab. Anti meta. This will work. You guys just don't get it. You guys aren't big brain enough like I am. Self meal Exodia. Isn't there a card that made your opponent draw cards and you gain life points? Uh, yeah. Add Lulu or whatever so you can banish Necroface, then put it back to mill again. Uh, I'm already playing too many cards in that engine. I can't really afford another one. Oh, add time? Okay, let me play the ad. There you go. What is a Pomu? Pomu is a rain puff. Oh my god, you got the same one twice in a row. Thanks for getting me into this weird, fun, and awesome game, the duologues. You're welcome, UC Tusuki. I'm glad I tricked you into this game. Oh my god, it's playing the Finana one over and over? Am I gonna have to add a, a redemption limit on that? <laughs> there we go. Go ahead and try to abuse it now. I dare you. Hi, YouTube. Sad piano. <laughs> There's too many people in chat with too many channel points. Hello, Mr. Logs. This is why everything is so expensive. Because I stream every day. And there's too many people. Sad violin. And then when you guys do stuff like that, you get all the lurkers to, to join in. You guys have a blast. But I have to think of the viewing experience, you know? Ooh, Cyber Emergency. <gasps> Are they playing Drytron? Wait, how come I can't respond to anything. Oh, because they can't draw any cards the rest of the turn because of Pot of Prosperity. Okay. Well, that's fine. View an experience better during the spam? My lungs are burning. What was that? <laughs> it was you guys being... Well, that's, that's just chat. Let's see. So I just turned on a redemption cooldown. There. You should be able to buy it again. Originally, it didn't have a redemption cooldown because nobody was using it. But I guess now it has one. Use a face cam? No. Okay, I'll turn it back on. Fafnir? Immediately? I beat Drytron today. Altic was going first. Called by Benton and Unchained Soul Rage. What, you guys have cooldowns? I guess some people can bypass the cooldowns, right? Bring out the spider. The spider is out. Do you want double spider? 
Hello there. It's me, the dual log. Ah! That scared me. It was Herald of Ultimateness. There's nothing scarier than a, a Herald of Ultimateness. Double spider pogs. Yeah, double spider. Well, the double spider's gone now. Is that your big brother? No, that's me. Hello there. I see that you can see me in full screen. See? You can redeem the random sound. Ultimate jump scare. Unfortunately, Herald of Ultimateness negates activations. So he's able to negate Morphing Jar number 2's effect during the damage step, if it makes it that far. This is why I need more Floodgates. I should play at least six of them. Not four of them. Union Carrier? Oh wow, they're going full sweaty combo. Oh, they even have Barrier Statue of the Light on the field? Oh my goodness gracious. Barriers? Oh, they're gonna add that, not Benten? Hmm, okay. Metosis Drytron. Oh, they're going for another one. They're going into Ben 10 on the field. Anti Kaiju. <gasps> it is Anti Kaiju. Whoa. First time chat from the viewer. Hello there, Praxis Fire. First time chat, and you're a uh, Leah Azimov subscriber. Nice. Get rid of everything. Oh no, he can negate it because it's happening during the damage step. You need Macro Cosmos. If I had any Floodgate, I could have stopped this from happening. Little Leia AI? You're a little Leia AI? What? I'm pretty sure she's asleep by now. It's like super late over there. Let me see. Oh, I had that. Oh, I still have my YouTube stream open. Let me close that. <gasps> no! There we go. Mute. Oh, is it my turn? You think I can wall them with Aroma Jar? I'm gonna try. <laughs> Only plays the one for some reason. Wait, what do I only play one of? Needs more D-Shifter? I only have one D-Shifter! I'd play more if I had any more. Chat voting on the last second. He had a counter for it, unfortunately. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't send, um... Uh, Elder Entity Natis to the graveyard. Gain 500 life points. Your opponent's name is Tear to Deck. You think a Tear Deck is going to beat my Aroma Jar? Aroma Jar can't be destroyed by battle. Dimension Shifters, you play either 3 or 0. Having 1 is silly. Only playing one shifter is just to draw the ouch energy. Oh, he is playing the Tiss. I should craft to shifter, unchained, medulce, trap tricks doesn't care. Here's the thing with all hand traps that had hard once per turn effects or hard once per turn like effects. The same argument could be made for playing all of them at three. Why is it that some people play them at two copies or even one? I'm going to inform you 
on this this crazy little fact of deck building. It's so that you can have multiple hard ones per turn effects in your hand at a time. Dimension Shifter, however, stops you from using a lot of other hand traps as well. So if you play Dimension Shifter, you can't really play your other hand traps unless it's like Infinite Impermanence or Omega. So, one Dimension Shifter is fine. Optimal ratios are obviously three, but it's not a three or zero. Yeah, I can't really draw D Shifter, which kind of hurts. Mm-hmm. Kaiser Coliseum sounds like a good floodgate. It is a really good floodgate. Let's see here. Kaiser. I should just craft Kaiser Coliseum already. How many floodgates do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I need one more floodgate. Lose one turn. We'll all also play a copy of lose one turn. There, now I have enough floodgates in order to floodgate my floodgate of my opponent. And I have all of these cards that draw. I should play more copies of this. Okay, so... I have all of these floodgates. Do I even need hand traps? Heck no. Let me just get rid of all of my hand traps. I don't even need them anymore. And I'll play 41 cards. It's go first or die. Anti-spell fragrance? Ooh, that could work. Macro Cosmos? Mm, I don't really want to banish my cards. I kind of want them in the grave. The reason I'm playing Snow is so that I can uh, banish my Necro faces from the graveyard. Which I can't do with Necro Valley on the field now that I think about it. Add Rivalry? I don't have Rivalry. I'd have to craft it. I already have a bunch of other floodgates I can play instead. Gravekeeper serving for its macro for stall. <laughs> oh no. The instant I take out all my hand traps, I'm going against the bot. <laughs> Dogwood is trash. Dogwood is amazing. Ignite fun and interactive. Yeah, well, I don't think any of my bots could have really... No, I could have stopped it with a shifter. Noble Knights. Dogwood would stop this FTK? It sure would. Gamed rigged. Why did I go against this as soon as I get rid of all my flood... my hand traps? I think the bots concede if they go second. And then it adds their noble knight. I'm gonna freak it. Wait, someone redeemed a Rosamy one? Whoa! Thick Danny boy. <laughs> Let me farm this account so I can sell it deck. Oh, I haven't gone against any of the the other decks before. I haven't gone in against Banquet a million decks. Even though I'm playing 13 cards in my extra just for them. Alternatively, DD Crow and the Charging Cell is funny. Road Warrior? What are they going to bring out with Road Warrior? Reprodocus? Are they gonna bring out Cyberstein directly from the deck? Do they have telekinetic charging sale? <gasps> when did they search out telekinetic charging sale? Is this is 100% a bot? Of course, look how fast they're going. Since removal of rewards, bots have lowered a lot. 
Apparently not this one. Ooh, Wind Witch Crystal Bell. Supreme King Doom. Wait, how do they do the, the kill again? They already have Leerlisk in the grave. Oh yeah, they use this to go to Supreme King Starving Venom Dragon. Oh wait, this one copies the effect too? Oh, neat. What a neat deck. Let's try again. Let's play his deck. I know, right? I should play his deck. His deck is way better than mine. WTF is that garbage? It's a it's a bot deck that farms wins. Why no Exodia bots? I have no idea. Okay, so for this match, if I lose because this deck is perfect, gosh, I should get into the match first before I tell you. No response. God damn it. It's because I went against a bot, isn't it? Will you add that Rosami SFX soon? Um, probably not. And the reason why is because Rosami is my favorite streamer. So I don't want to mix the branding of my stream with one of my favorites because I like to keep those things separate are you gonna do a Rosemi collab uh unfortunately not gain 500 life points for each one Get this one in the grave, get this one to protect my cards, present card to get rid of one card in their hand. Okay, I didn't draw into a floodgate, so I lose. Oh. What do they have? Ooh, they had two evocations in the grave. Oh, Wendy. A Shadal Beast. <gasps> it's Shadal in it's invoked Shadal. Magical Meltdown. No, I'm not going to let you search out Invoked. Muscle Medic equipped with Double Edge Sword. Does that work? Al Shadal Fusion. He's going to hard go into a fusion, not bringing the invocations. Yeah, he has two invocations in the grave. App Cologne. People actually bring this card out to the field. Target one face of card in the field, negate its effects. No, I lost my counters. Eh, whatever. Macaba. What about Macaba? Yeah, right. No Alistair. Maybe I should play Alistair in this deck. This deck could play Makaba. Ooh, backup squad. Disagree, Schism is okay. Schism is pretty good. No Alistair? Well, it's, I stopped their Alistair from happening. Activate in order to gain more life points. Makaba would make it better, right? Should I add Alistair the Invoker to this deck? Oh, I can't. There are some engines I just don't like to play. And Alistair's one of them. Whoa. They flip summoned Shadal Beast. 
Almighty Cauldron God card. Why? Whenever I play Alistair, I just feel dirty. It'd be like, say you were a successful YouTuber and or streamer, and Raid Shadow Legends offered you $10,000 in order to do an ad spot. And then you did the ad spot, but you didn't actually enjoy the game, and then you tell everyone how fun it is. And then after you're done with the stream and or video, you have to look at yourself in the mirror and think, God, I actually had to do that. That's how I feel playing Alistair. Have you built a super quantum deck? No, not yet. You have mirrors? Of course we have mirrors on the moon. Same way with Trickstar Burn. Like, I'm fine playing Floodgates and an Eldlich engine, and a whole bunch of other things. But for some reason, Alistair is where I draw the line. <laughs> I don't know why. I just feel really dirty playing Alistair. Oh my god, he turned off Backup Squad? You've got to be kidding me. Stop doing that! This deck could play Eldlich? It sure can. So what you're saying is the next stream is going to be sponsored by Raid Shadow- Oh, fuck, that reminds me. I actually got a message from my... ad person. And I forgot to respond to it. Okay. Oh, I lost. I don't think this deck can ever win. Let's see here. Bean. Kaiju. Eldlich. Wait, where the fuck is my life point gain mill deck at? Hydralander. Utopia. Crooked Cook. Infernal Tempest, Macro, there we go. This is Life Point Game Meal. Imagine you want to try out verse and Side Games comes and sponsors you, oh, that'd be great. Magical Broker would be a funny decree if you have enough continuous cards. Oh, I should say, I've never actually played Raid Shadow Legends, so I don't know if it's a bad game or not. Like, I just use them as an example because they're memed on in the YouTube sphere. But, I actually have never played the game, so I can't really judge if it's good or not. I've heard from some people that it's not half bad. So if I played it, I might actually like it, because I like that kind of shit. <laughs> so, this is the version that wins games. It's a dog shit game. I mean, I've heard conflicting reports. Hmm. So this version of the deck uses gift exchange in order to give them Pot of Desires. This one gets my opponent to use it more often, but it also doesn't really mill. I think I should go back to the basics. Go back to this version of it. The flip version is garbage. So, let's go back to to the old school. 
So for this, we're going to type in Kaiju. And we're going to play all the Kaijus. We're going to get rid of the aromas. Get rid of these. Get rid of the fairy tale snows. Necroface might work. I said might. I don't think it will work in this version because I was specifically using it in the other one as a way to actually like get stuff in the grave. I'll get rid of this. I'll leave in this. We'll go down to one copy of this. Uh, get rid of Soul Levy. Play Recall. Recall. Heavy slump and uh, heavy slump is discards the cards, right? Shuffles a hand to the deck, then they draw two cards. Hmm, it's not really what I want to do with this deck. I'll play one of those, and then we have side effects. Oh, come on. Side effects, and then we have uh, what was it? Rainbow something? Or was it Majesty? What's the name of that one dragon monster who has an effect like Battle in Boxer Veil? It's like something. Pegasus? Rainbow something? Dragon Fairy? Yeah, Dragon Fairy or something. Dragon Fairy? Rainbow Life would be funny? It would, but it sucks. It's a garbage card. Okay, and then we have Skill Drain. Triple Skill Drain. Let's get rid of Lose One Turn. Get rid of There Can Be Only One, except for one of them. I'll leave one of them in. Alright, and then we have Triple Present Card, and then we have triple side effects question mark i'll go down to one poison of the old man uh all oh, right and then we have uh what's this one called again gift exchange gift exchange we play three copies of these and two copies of these and then we also play some kaijus how many kaijus am I playing this one? One, two, three, four. Just four of them? Four unique kaijus? And then three slumbers. Only one slumber? What? It's also playing uh, Pot of Prosperity. Yeah, Pot of Prosperity to actually dig for cards. Pot, 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 pot. Where is it at? There it is. I don't think I need Pot of Prosperity though. Let's see, then we have card destruction, we have checksum dragon, we have fairy dragon. This one is also playing child's play and gingerbread house. I'll play those. Child's play. Gingerbread house is probably not as good. That's just poison of the old man. Child's Play isn't either, because it's just trying to combo with Dried Winds. I think I'd rather just play two copies of Dried Winds. Okay, here we go. This version should work perfectly. Oh wait, I should also play... Spear Mode! And get rid of one copy of Slumber. Get rid of another copy of Slumber. I need to go down to 40 cards. I'm playing too much garbage. So I have the floodgates. Oh, I can get rid of there can be only one if I'm playing Kaiser Coliseum. I don't really have a way to use Kaiser Coliseum though. Not unless I go into my Kaijus. Which I can do with more interrupted Kaiju slumbers. Yeah, I should just play three of these. I'll play 43 cards, whatever. Life point gain mill. Life point gain mill. Kaiju. This version will work. You guys just don't believe. Add time? Okay. Last warrior from another planet troll at some point? Oh, that's a good idea. 
Remove humid winds? Okay. I'll remove it on the next one. Someone remind me. I don't have a way to use it anymore. I mean, I can still get in live points with it, but... Like, I can't search with it anymore. <gasps> Ooh, card destruction. So, my opponent is playing Prank Kids. I should be fine, right? Prank Kids don't really disrupt. They just, like, destroy everything. Do long as you should pull for a Ghostware Spear mode? No. Evenly matched? The Book of Eclipse? No. Book of Eclipse wouldn't be half bad, actually. I'm immune to add time? How did you get immune to add time? Well, I guess everyone who subscribed to the channel is also immune to add time. Ooh, we're pretty close. What the heck are these ads? I have no idea. Prank kids do do doodly do. Who was going to attribute it in order to target two prank kid monsters in the graveyard and then special summon them? If this card is sent to the graveyard as material for a fusion or a link monster for prank kid's monster, you can banish one card from your hand, and if you do draw one card, then you can special summon a prank kid's monster from your hand or deck in defense position, except this card. I bet to lose because kaiju and spear modes don't mix. Kaijus and spear modes don't mix? Yeah, they do. Are you crazy? Of course they mix. They're the best cards ever. I'll play Child's Play first. Does he have any disruption? I doubt it. How come we didn't end on something better than Roxy's? They tribute your opponent's monsters. What more do you want? I know, right? Ooh, the fusion summon. Fusion summon one prank kid's monster. Wait, why do they use it now? I'm glad they're using it now because I can get rid of it with my kaiju. Battle and Butler. Doesn't this destroy all my monsters? Like, my spell traps are safe, right? Dropsies. Oh, I guess they were just waiting. <gasps> They're gonna summon a whole bunch of cards, aren't they? That's gonna give me a whole bunch of life point games. Palace. Uh, what happens? It gains 500 attack even if it leaves the field. Once per turn, if you link someone to Prank Kid's monster. You can have all monsters your opponent controls lose 500 attack. I was only play this because it adds a card. You can run one spear mode or three kaijus. I'm gonna do whatever I want. Which one of us is the pro Yu-Gi-Oh gamer? I believe it is I. <laughs> Get out of here, Battle Butler. Okay, and then I'll activate Gift Exchange. You think he'll actually use it? If I give him Pot of Desires? He better. Yeah, get Kaiju. What are they gonna do with all their cards? All they did was summon, like, what, four monsters during my turn? That's practically nothing. And then backup squad. And then skill drain. And then I can activate card destruction on my next turn. Hopefully when he actually has a full hand. <gasps> he gave me Thunder Dragon Fusion! Ooh! How much you want to bet he's going to use it? Wait, did I add side effects to the deck? I might have forgot to add side effects. What do kaijus do? Kaijus tribute one of your opponent's monsters to give you... to summon themselves to your opponent's side of the field. The reason you do that is because it bypasses almost all form of protection, so it gets rid of boss monsters. What do you think about fur hires? Fur hires are a thing that exists, alright. 
Come on, use it. Use Pot of Desires. It's a plus one. There's no reason not to use Pot of Desires. Just go for it. I know you want to use Pot of Desires. He gave you Thunder Dragon Fusion. <laughs> I think this combo works a lot better in lower ranks. I think in Platinum, I can't rely on my opponent using the card, unfortunately. Must give my opponent desires. He must like they usually use it. They're just not using it today because they're dumb. Pot desires is really bad in prank kids. Yeah, I guess. Wow, he gained more life points than I did. Oh well, I gained 300 every time my opponent summons a monster. Not using a gift is rude, right? What's another card I can give to my opponent that would mill them better than Pot of Desires? I don't know, Pot of Desires is so good. It gets rid of how many cards? <gasps> they went into Prank Kids Mew Mew Mew? Meow Meow Mew? Well, this card is limited to one. This card is straight broken. Believe it or not, most people in Platinum know what they're doing. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think I might have to remove the combo. Because I'm playing people in Platinum. I have to rename this deck. Life Point Gain Mill Platinum. Version. But what would I even replace it with? Whoa, three cards for Access Code Talker? Ooh, oh, he's gonna try to blow up my field. Okay. More copies of Soul Levy? Mm. More Floodgates? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Especially since I'm not playing Aroma Jar anymore. And if he attacks, I'm just going to draw cards thanks to Backup Squad. Oh, he's going to go for it anyway? Oh wait, I guess he can banish himself to destroy at least one card. Which I'll probably waste on Skill Drain. Ooh, smart. Gradles? Hmm, Gradles might work. They activate their effects in the graveyard and they steal stuff. Ooh, that's smart. And I would just pick up three copies of Gradle Eagle. Tall Hike is an underrated floodgate. That's because it only stops battles. I'll play it. I need to find uh, five cards to replace. I'll play Tall Hike. Just you watch. Are you using Temple of the Mind's Eye? Yeah, I have one copy. Look, every time they summon a card, I summon. I get 300 life points. Child's play is amazing. What are they going in? Roaring Worcester? You can tribute this card, destroy all spell traps your opponent controls. Oh no. All my cards are gone. Wait, why didn't they use the effect? Did they forget? Give them Upstart Goblin. People in Plant are smart. They are smart. Just thin, just thin the deck to 40. I guess that's one way to do it. The reason I play Floodgates is so they can't bring out cards to destroy my back row. In case you were wondering. Okay. So. Oh, I'm already playing. I should get rid of Dried Winds. I have one copy of Heavy Slump. I have room for three more cards. What should I play? Goodbye points. 
I think skill drain was too late. Well, I didn't draw it until really late. Floodgate trap hole. <laughs> three gift exchange, three upstarts. I don't have an upstart. Spooky dogwood? No, I don't really need it. Toll hike? Toll hike. Yeah. What's that one? Metaltron? Oh! You can tribute continue unaffected by the effects of cards of the same type as monsters. If this tribute so many cards owned to control destroyed by opponent's card by battle, special summon one fusion, synchro, or Xyz monster that is earth, water, fire, or wind from your extra deck. Um, earth, water, fire, wind. What's the best target for this? Anti-spell fragrance? Uh, anti spell fragrance. I have a copy of anti spell fragrance. He is my backup beat stick. Gravekeeper's servant is like toll hype, except it mills. It is, but like my opponent realistically is only attacking me five times in order to win. And there's no guarantee I'll be able to mill all five cards with that. Is Last Warrior a target? It is Earth. Okay, Last Warrior is in. Nature Exterior. Buy Corn. Oh. <gasps> Wait, white corn is light. You can't do that. It has to be earth, water, fire, wind. What's that? Cannot be sure by battle with while you control another monster. Neither player can target face up spell traps you control with card effects. Can't be targeted with card effects and cannot destroy a battle while you control another monster. I rarely control another monster. My face up card effects would negate his effect. He wouldn't really work very well, unfortunately. Super heavy samurai train? This card can attack while in face up defense position. If it does, apply its defense. Once per turn, discard two cards, target many cards opponent controls, destroy them. Once per turn, banish all spell traps in your graveyards, and if you do, inflict 200 bandits for each. Hmm. Good enough. And I have two of them for some reason. Final Sigma. Hmm. He is fire. That works too. Couple of time lords. Are there any time lords that help with mill? A mini raid rafter? Kind of. The water invoked? Oh yeah. Kokitis. Hmm. You can play 15 cards in your extra deck again? Never. Did you forget the Gradles? Gradles. I could add Triple Gradle Eagle and Triple Gradle Impact for the Gradle Engine. But that's six cards, and I'm kind of already teetered out. There's a Time Lord that heals? Is there? Have you considered Dark Sanctuary? No, I kind of have my field zone used up with Temple of the Mind's Eye. Here, I'll add in one Gradle just for fun. I'm ruining my, my deck synergy for that. Which one of these heals? This one shuffles all cards. This one inflicts 2,000 damage. This one bounces. 
Inflict a thousand damage. Your life points become four thousand. Shuffle one card, inflict five hundred. Have your opponent's life points. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to the difference. None of these heal. Golden Ladybug. Golden Ladybug's not in this version, unfortunately. Trishula to banish. I think I'm good on my cards. Hello, Mr. Logs. Hello there. I will never go beyond 13 card extra deck as long as it exists. It's a way to satisfy people, surrender, turn one, and then check to see if they have DD Dynamite. Exactly. Metaltron contribute monsters, spells, and traps. Yeah, I know. That's why he's in there. I play a lot of floodgates. Now you can try Allure of Darkness and Rep Panel. Hope they don't have a dark monster. <laughs> take Kaiser Coliseum out? Why? It's an excellent card. Why would I take it out? Performa Pal Karibo Hole? What does that one do? Shiranui Solitaire. Time to play three Solemn Wishes. Solemn Wishes is garbage, though. Unizombie is out. <gasps> you think he's gonna go into Psyframe Lord Omega, the best zombie synchro monster? Let's go, gambling. I was in a duel playing against a Grass Witchcrafter deck, and I used Metal Flow's Fusion before using Grass, and I drew Metal Flow's Fusion. Oof. If I redeem the Duel Me Challenge Point reward, will you actually duel me? Yeah, of course. I don't think anyone has ever redeemed it, though. Because it's kind of a waste. That's a lot of points. Oh. They're actually going into Baylor Drotch? <gasps> Baylor Drotch, once per chain when a zombie monster activates its effect, damage step, apply one of these effects, banish one monster from the field or graveyard. Well, that stops Great Old Eagle. I'm far as to talking too much. Maybe to heal, I recommend my favorite monster, Thought Ruler Archfiend. Whoa, that's a... That's an oldie, but a goodie. But, like, the only reason I was adding all those synchros and stuff was in case they were being cheated out of the extra deck. And that card is not really good enough for being cheated out of the extra deck. Okay, so I'll activate Temples of the Mind's Eye to stop some damage. Hmm. Hmm. Then activate this card right here, backup squad. What kind of delay are you having? You can't do anything. Solemn Wishes is deadly. If you had one Solemn Wishes and one Imperial Order, the cost of Imperial Order gets massively. Two Psalm Wishes? No, the reason Psalm Wishes is garbage is because there's better cards I can play that give me more life points that stay on the field forever. And if I'm not playing those better cards, then I'm not gonna play the worst version of it. Okay. Eld Elixir of the Scarlet Sanguin. All right, go for it. Then it's their turn, they draw a card. And then I'll use present card to get rid of all their cards. Haha, <laughs> idiot. Present card, get rid of those two cards in your hand and then draw five. Yeah, overall Solomon is a good Imperial is the only way I found to combo with her. Um, there's just cards that give you more life points that are better. 
Ooh, has drew cards. Activate the effect of a card? Yeah, let's use side effects. Draw three cards. Don't be a coward. Depending on how many cards they draw. Chances are they'll only draw one if they they figure out that they're getting nerfed. Twin Twisters? <gasps> Temple's the Mind's Eye, and then Backup Squad. Oh no, they drew into a Twin Twisters and a back row heavy floodgatey deck. Wow, they actually drew all three of them. Well, I'm hamboned. I kind of needed those cards. What the hell is with going against a direct counter? Why not side effects the present? Because I want them to have a big hand. So the combo for that was to use present card to give them a big beefy hand of five cards. Then use side effects in order to give them three more cards. Then use Trickstar Reincarnation. That way they get rid of eight cards. Ooh. Much better. This is rigged. I know, right? That's what I was saying. They drew one card. Activate present card. I believe in you, Mr. Logs. Why, thank you. Little Scoob, if you think you're Eldlich. I could play Eldlich cards. Hmm, they're playing Emergency Teleport already. Oh, this card is a hard once per turn. Okay. Wait, was that you, Team Near Dwarf? My last opponent, the perfect counter to my deck? Cross out designated. Wait, what the hell are they doing? Max C was selected. Um, okay. Oh, are they playing virtual worlds? I see, I see. This guy's clicking. No, I think he's just emptying his hand because he's going to lose all his cards anyway. They activate all of their effects in the hand, right? So, skill drain's not going to do much. But interrupting kaiju slumber should be able to destroy whatever they get on the field. I don't think they can OTK with 7,000 life points of damage. Also, man, that was a lot of anti-hand trap cards. VFD? VFD is can't do anything under skill drain. It stops VFD. I like VFD doesn't do anything to me. I don't use monster effects. <laughs> My biggest concern is them getting a whole bunch of cards out on the field. Victory? Nice. I knew I could win. All I had to do was just believe in myself. Virtual World can also hard summon Zeus. I know, I've seen Leia do it. That's hilarious. <laughs>
Wait, were you guys actually betting against me? Even though I play like a million floodgates? Backup squad. The side effects. Side effects is only good if I can combo it with Trickstar Reincarnation or present card. I always vote yes. Excellent. Wait, how come you don't have the thing next to your name if you voted yes? I am the king of floodgates. Shadows can shut down my floodgates, which is annoying. Unless I activate skill drain. Oh no. They went into a dragon? God damn it. Not my backup squad. Despia? What does that one do? Negate its effects. If this card is used as fusion material and sent to the graveyard or banished, special summon this card. Oh no. <gasps> when doing probably hurts him more than it hurts you. Maybe. I needed my backup squad though. Toll hike I will. <laughs> Each player must send one card from their hand to the graveyard to declare an attack. Which means you can activate your Shadal effects in your hand. Or can you? Doesn't this send as a cost? Yeah, it sends it a co No, I don't think that really matters, right? If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect. I can use Checksum Dragon in order to stall out. It blocks the attack, gives me 1,200 life points. It blocks the attack, right? Oh shit, I thought it blocked the attack. I wasn't thinking about a different card. And Toll Hike. Ooh. There's another card that comes out and stops the damage and special summons itself. I must be thinking about the Stegosaurus card. This whole hike the mini mill. That's one way to put it. <laughs> Side effects. Dark bribe. They need cards in order to attack. Karibo hole, battle fader. No, I was thinking about the Stegosaurus card. It has like a graveyard effect where if you would take damage, you can uh Whatchamacallit. You can pay a thousand life points, special summon it, and you don't take any damage. And then you have the card in the field. Stego Cyber? Yeah, that's probably the one I was thinking of. Ooh, what does the field spell card do again? It doesn't do anything that great, right? You can fusion summon a level 8 or higher fusion monster from your extra deck using materials when your hand or field is fusion materials. If a face-up non-fusion fairy monster you control leaves the field by opponent's card effect, go for it. Two toll hikes on board equals board lock. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Electromagnetic turn. No, someone already got it. Ooh. El Shadal Winda can search back a Shadal spell trap from the grave. I didn't think they'd get rid of that. Oh, right. I guess they can use that to just bring it back, huh? Mr. Dulog, do you speak any other languages? I do not. Ahoy, tonight's entertainment sorted. Hello there, Captain Condiment. They don't activate any effects on the field. What the hell? Stop not activating effects on the field. <gasps> it's game over. They're gonna toll hike and just blast through. Or they're gonna try to anyway. 
They can only attack one more time. Because they have to pay the troll toll every time they wish to attack. And my deck specializes in gaining life points. Shit. That's a terrible draw. If only they hadn't destroyed my backup squad. How do they always pop that card so easily? Oh well, they only get one attack. But side effects will give them more cards to draw. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this card is so uh, not good for this deck. Toll hike. <laughs> I'll use side effects in order to draw some cards to delay my death a little bit. <laughs> if only for a couple of seconds. Now he can pay the full cost. Damn it, I can't believe Skill Drain is useless. He doesn't use any of his effects on the field. Ooh, Squamata went to the grave. Cool, it doesn't activate. It does send his cost. <gasps> Ooh, I survived for a turn! Whoa. They could have just drawn one or two to win. They could have, but they didn't. <laughs> they got greedy and drew three. How are you still alive? I don't know. Life point toll deck. You're so bad. <laughs> I'm just as surprised as you are. Al shut all construct. Yeah, I guess they can use that in order to... Uh, Try and send Shout All Dragon to the graveyard to destroy the floodgate. So I'll use Skill Drain now. And hopefully I draw into Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. I'm like mini raging right now, just watch it from your end. I'm losing! Don't rage, he's still gonna win unless I draw something really good. That's Toll Hike? Yeah, Toll Hike. They have to discard in order to attack. It's so bad. Well, I mean, it's not bad. It's just like... Oh, they tri they tribute set for uh, Shadow all Beast so they can draw two and discard one. Oh! I can't believe I drew it. <laughs> I literally called it, didn't I? <laughs> didn't I say... I need to draw Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. <laughs> oh no, what if he has Ash Blossom in his hand? Oh, it's just Maxi, thank god. <gasps> oh, I was so scared! <laughs> you did call it. See? I was like, if I draw into Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, I'm good. Last duel of the night versus me, are you getting off? Yeah, I was gonna get off after this. To your side of the field, I'm gonna give myself the big boy and my opponent a Cumungus. Oh my god. Mm. Hopefully, he didn't draw something good. El Shadow Construct does allow them to search back Shadow Fusion. Each player must send one card in their hand to the graveyard to declare an attack. How do the rulings for this work? I think I'm fine, right? Because I literally can't declare an attack, so I don't have to worry about the effects of Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, which says you have to attack. Yeah, because Interrupted Kaiju Slumber has an effect. While all the cards are on the field, they have to attack. Which does mean their card, too. But if I can't attack... Toll Hike is keeping him in check. It sure is. Look at all those cards he has in his hand, though, because he drew a card off of Beast getting destroyed. 
And he also added a card back with Shaldal Construct. And he already had one card in his hand, so he just drew one for his starting turn. So I know one of his cards in his hands is uh, Shadow Fusion. I don't know what the other cards are though. But I also have a Dark Bribe to stop him for one card. And also my opponent has to attack. And uh... Because I'm pretty sure it works on both of us, right? They cannot change the battle position and must attack if able. So my opponent has to attack with his Cubungus and he's going to lose another card in his hand. And I have one Dark Bribe in order to protect my back row. Or to stop a Shadow Fusion. Yep, he has to attack. He has cards in his hand. <laughs> Confused for Purgatrio. Soul Dream stops graveyard effects. Sure does. He has to discard one card in order to lose his own monster. It's so sad. Alexa, play the world's smallest violin. Uh-oh, I have to attack now. Oh wait, I can just use Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Oh right, I have the, the violin thing, don't I? Okay. A Dragon Tuner. During your opponent's turn, supposed to open this card from your hand, then apply one of these effects and inflict damage to your opponent equal to the damage. But either player takes battle damage, this might be able to save- but I only have 1800 life points, that's not gonna save me. I have to attack because of the effect of interrupted kaiju slumber. Shadal Schism! Ooh. I'm not gonna let you schism. Schism is too good. Get that stuff out of here. Continue your main phase? Yes. Can I just end my turn? No, I have to go into the battle phase. Due to Tolhike's effect. Not Tolhike, um... Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Okay, this is starting to look pretty bad. He has three cards, four cards in his hand. I, I have a Floodgate out, which does protect me somewhat, but he gets around that Floodgate, no problem. The only thing limiting his attacks is really just that Toll Hike. Oh, oh wait, he can't really destroy my card though, because he has 3300 attack. Unless he activates something to destroy it in the graveyard. Like, this card comes out, but... Okay, Shadow Beast draws a card. He has another Shadow Beast. Tragedy, if this card's into the graveyard by a card effect, add a Despia card from your deck to your hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target a branded spell trap from your graveyard, set it to your field. Man, these Despia cards are really good with Shadows, aren't they? You have a mini Battle Fader and a high Beat Stick? Um, I do, but my Beat Stick is screwing me because he has to attack every turn because of Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. So Tull Hike is kind of screwing me. The Despia cards are okay. They seem really good with Shadows. End phase. No, don't end your turn. Child's play. This might help if I activate Child's play. Every time my opponent summons a card, I get to gain some life points. And I have to attack, which is bad, because he just brings it back with his Despia card. I can no longer use this. Hmm... I could Tribute set it, but it only has 2500 defense, which isn't enough because one of his cards has 3000 attack. So I'm just going to have to get baited into this. Toll Hike, get rid of my Fairy Dragon. Attack for 800 damage. And the only thing protecting me is a big Beat Stick in Toll Hike. <laughs> If he just gets a dragon in his hand, he can destroy skill drain and get rid of everything, no problem. Or if he just goes into- if he finds a way to rec- <gasps> I won? What? 
that actually won? <laughs> Side effects for the win? Oh my god. How? I should have lost. That was 100% a loss. Oh, I'm angry. <laughs> god damn. Tolhaig, man. He only has one schism, but he can infinitely recover it. What did he have in his hand where he couldn't do anything? He has Harpy's Feathered. Oh, he only plays one dragon. Oh, I was like all waiting for a second dragon this whole game. No, they only have one dragon. They already used it. I guess they're waiting for Harpy's Feather Duster and just never drew it. Because like I had a 3300 attack monster on the field and he didn't have monster effects to get rid of it. He had Schism to get rid of it, but he couldn't do that. The way he could have gotten Schism back was by using the fusion in his hand to go into another one of the shadows and just destroy it in order to recover back Schism and Schism to go into Construct which would allow them to get rid of the Kaiju. So they had an out. I don't get why they gave up. Probably drew into Called by the Grave. All they had to do was just keep bringing back their monsters long enough and keep setting so that they could go into Schism and Shadow Construct. Your opponent snatched <laughs> He could have won if he just drawn one from side effects. Like I literally said. <laughs> yeah, dragons usually yeah, I know yeah, it's usually a one of, but like people who I play against don't play like normal ratios. So like if my opponent has more than one dragon in order to beat me, I just assume they have more than one. No Albaz, no Albion. The deck is uh interesting. I like it. Had to be a long one. Side, yeah, literally side effects for the win. Uh, this should be the name of the, the video. Side effects for the win. You'll see it in three weeks from now. Till I confused him. Even if you drew one, you were still safe. That's true. Even if he did attack, he would still have to lose cards through to Toll Hike. The Toll Hike man. It was just he couldn't pay the troll toll. What can I say? I made the title. Wait, what did you say, Knife? Let me read your past comments. Tier zero deck. <laughs> for sure. Side effects for the win. Oh. And you guys said this deck was bad. How do you feel now? I bet you feel silly. I, you guys didn't expect me to draw into interrupted kaiju slumber after my opponent decided to draw. How many? They drew six car, three cards for no reason. Gave me six thousand life points in order to stay in. I'll do tomorrow, Mr. Logs. Okay, they're the last rebel. Edit deck. Change accessories. So I need to change my three main cards. For life point gain mill, I have to pick side effects since that literally won me the game. <laughs> And then the other one is, uh, I didn't mill, but I did gain life points. I, I'll pick Toll Hike because that also helped me win. Because he didn't have an out to it. So I had to discard a whole bunch of cards to attack. It transcends. I had to discard a bunch of cards to attack too. It sucks. It applies to me, and I was forced to attack. Have you ever watched Sunny in Philadelphia? Yeah, I've watched like the first 14 seasons, I believe. Good night, Mr. Logs. Yeah, I gotta go. God, I'm so behind on work. You guys have no idea. Reboot. Shut up. Don't tell me to reboot. Fuck all you guys! Fuck you and when all. I say I'm behind I on work, I mean I'm hell. going to uh, go play more magic. Okay, before I go, I'm gonna be sneaky. I'm gonna give you guys a Twitch channel. You guys should go follow that channel because they're trying to hit a thousand followers and mainly because they're gonna do a special stream at a thousand that I want to see and also we'll just write someone at random yeah um we'll go over to cafe fico thank you well that was excellent <laughs> what the fuck is that? 
We'll raid Cafe Feco. He is a uh, he is a VTuber. He's he's actually a male VTuber. Those are rare. Who plays Yu-Gi-Oh? I was watching him a little bit last night. He seemed cool. We'll go over to uh, that one. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I need water, man. Yeah, that was a great Corona one. Whoever played that excellent soundbite. Just like you. No, I'm not a VTuber. You guys are confused. You see, the reason you guys are confused is because I'm actually a spider who lives on the moon. You guys just confuse that as a VTuber for some reason. It is unique, true. Most people are humans and not spiders who live on the moon. But anyways, 